Hello, and welcome to the Life and Diary of David Brainerd, Day 17. I do hope you're having a great day. We are still talking about David's conversion experience. I saw that I had never done anything for God. I had no claim on anything from him but tradition, on account of my hypocrisy and mockery. Oh, how different did my duties now appear from what they used to. I used to charge them with sin and imperfection, but this was only account of wanderings and vain thoughts attending them and not because I had no regard to God in them, for this I thought I had. But when I saw evidently that I had regard to nothing but self-interest, then they appeared a vile mockery of God, self-worship, and a continual course of lies. So that I now saw, so, saw that something worse had attended my duties than barely a few wonders. For the whole was nothing but self-worship, and as hard abuse of God. I continued, as I remember, in this state of mind from Friday morning till the sadness, Sabbath evening following July the 12th, 1739. When I was walking again in the same solitary place where I was brought to see myself lost and helpless, as before mentioned, here... In a mournful, melancholy state, I was attempting to pray, but found no heart to engage in that or any other duty. My former concern, exercise, and religious affection were now gone. I thought the Spirit of God had quit, quite left me, but still was not distressed, yet discount, as if there was nothing in heaven or earth that could make me happy. I had been thus endeavoring to pray though as I thought very stupid and senseless for nearly a half an hour. Then as I was walking in a dark, thick grove, unspeakable glory seemed to open to the view and apprehension of my soul. I do not mean an external brightness, for I saw no such thing, nor do I intend any imagination of a body of light somewhere in the third heavens or anything of that nature. But it was as a it was a new inward apprehension or view that I had of God, such as I had never had before, nor any, anything that least resemblance of it. I stood still, wondered, and admired. I knew that I never had, had seen before anything comparable to it for excellence, for excellency and beauty and it was widely different from all the conception that I ever had of God or anything divine. I had no particular apprehension of any one person in the Trinity, either the Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost, but it appeared to be divine glory. My soul rejoiced with unspeakable. Uh, my soul rejoiced with joy unspeakable to see such a God, such a glorious divine being, and I was inwardly pleased and satisfied that he should be God over all forever and ever. My soul was captivated and delighted with the excellency, lovingliness, greatness, and other perfections of God that I was even swallowed up in him, at least to the degree that I had no thought, as I remember at first, about my own salvation, and scarce reflected there was such a creature as I. I do hope that you have a wonderful day today.